My name is Aisha Ash. I am a former dancer with the New York City Ballet and a former student of the School of American Ballet. I came from Rochester, New York. I went to a ballet school in Rochester, New York, and I auditioned for the school. At the school, I stayed three summers and two full years. Before I auditioned for the School of American Ballet, when I showed interest at my school at home that I was wanting to audition for the school, it was at that time that somebody warned my mother, you know, it's gonna be difficult for her as a woman of color in ballet, and I just, it's not to stop you, but it's just to forewarn you. Uh, and, you know, I say all of that about my past because that was just something that I was just so ready to take on. You know, I heard that and I was like, no, I have to do this. One of the things that I thought about was the image that was in the School of American Ballet of then dancer Andrea Long. And when I was a student in the school, that image gave me such power um, and it gave me hope on those days that I felt you know what, this is too hard. It's too hard being the only one. It's, it's too hard being so different uh, and feeling that every day. Um, it's already hard enough being a, a dancer, a ballet dancer, but when you are so very different from everyone else, when you come into, step into an environment and there's nobody who looks like you, um, it's challenging. Being a teacher of color being a female teacher of color in this organization is, um, I feel a tremendous responsibility. And I feel a tremendous responsibility for the students of color who are in the classroom that I want to represent them well, to show myself well for those students who've never had a teacher of color. Um, I want that to be a good first experience. These are your first experiences of anything is something that sort of is ingrained in your memory, right? And it, it, can, it can have an effect on all other experiences that follow. So it is a tremendous responsibility, um, maybe one that I shouldn't put on myself, but I do, um, because I take it very seriously. I think it's tremendously important that we continue this work that we keep it going and it takes a village. We can't do it alone. So we really need that help. And why? Because we have to stay relevant, right? This is where art is going. You know, art is a reflection of life, you know, and this is life. And if we fall behind, right, if we don't have that support, then we'll be lost. Um, so I, and I don't want to see that happen, right? I can't see that happen. So making our voices heard, getting that backing and support. Um, and I think that the School of American Ballet is doing a phenomenal job, but we need help to keep that going. I look forward to being able to sit back and, and people ask, well, why did you even need that? You know, because it's just the norm. Um, but we, we need the help to continue doing that.